need to go and grab the seed here. We will be talking about the growth trends that many students have questioned as well. So precisely, I am about to introduce some information on the use of Pravin Perfect with 4 and 10. So let's imagine that this line is the time. Currently, it's the beginning of January 2021. And in this direction, we have the past, like yesterday, last week, last year, or the day you were born. And we bet there, or in this direction, we have future, like tomorrow, next week, next year, 2023, 2024, and so on. So today I'm connecting to you from my home. You are studying from your home too during this pandemic and uh, coronavirus time. So wherever you are, I hope you are safe and fine. Uh, so this is the hard time for all of us, but anyway, let's benefit from it by learning some gamma. So let's revise how it all started. Firstly, in December 2019, there was an outbreak in Wuhan, as you remember. And next, when it spread to more people in other areas, it became the epidemic. And in the end, in January 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 as a pandemic. So, unfortunately, it's still a pandemic now, and we may just hope that it will not last for a long time in the future. So, as long as it hasn't finished yet, uh, here is a connection between the future and the past. So, we are going to show this connection with the, with the bridge here that lies from past to now. So, we may say, the COVID-19 has been officially declared or characterized as a pandemic since January 2020. Or, we may say, the COVID-19 has been officially characterized as a pandemic for a year. As you can notice, we use present perfect in both senses. But here is a small difference in size. We use since in order to refer uh, to a point of specific time or an event in the past. And we use for here in order to describe the length of time since something has started. So now, let's think of some examples about Kedis and Griffiths. Now, let's think of some examples about Kedis and Griffiths. Let's think of some examples about Kazakhstan specifically now. So take a look at the piece of news delivered in March 2020. So, there are three main points here. Firstly, schools and universities are cancelled in Kazakhstan and we switch to distance learning, right? Secondly, large gatherings are banned, which means that many people are not allowed to come together in one place. And thirdly, travel is restricted, so people can travel only a limited number of countries now. So, let's make sentences with since before then. Let's check it out. Schools and universities have been cancelled in Kazakhstan for 10 months. Large gatherings have been banned since March 2020. 
and travel has been restricted for 10 months. Over. So as the home talks, think of how things in your life have changed due to the pandemic and make sentences the same before. That is the end of the lesson. See you next time. Goodbye.